Yo, welcome back everybody to your brand new Pokemon TC Live Twi Master Great Deck video. And today we're going to look at an ability locking combo here using Tinglu EX alongside, of course, Frostlass. Now, Tinglu does have that ability Cursed Land, where as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's Pokemon in play that have any damage counters on them have no abilities, except for Pokemon EX, which is unfortunate. That means cards like Pidgeot, Teal Mask Ogre Pond, Charizard, they all get to do their abilities, but you are able to shut down other stuff like Radiant Greninja, Comfy, Baxcalibur, Bibberol, just to name a few. Now, some good ways to get damage counters on the board usually would be something like your own attack land scoop that does 150, and then you put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. But you can also now use Frostlash, which has that freezing shroud ability, which allows you to put damage, one damage counter on each Pokemon in play with an ability. Now, you do hit your own Pokemon too. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. But at the very least, with Frostlash, you get to damage all of your opponent's Pokemon in play with an ability, immediately locking them out of using their abilities if your Tinglu's in the active. Now, there's also stuff like the halucha which you can use flying entry really good if you go first or if you go second you want to immediately slow them down right away especially against like a deck that uses like a stage two or like like chem power or something right so the halucha is also a really good way to get damage on your pokemon the downside with ting lu is it's a little bit slow it does require three fighting energy to attack now there is a little bit of acceleration within the deck the main one is going to be the Coridon ex using dino cry where you can attach up to two basic fighting energy from your discard pile two basic fighting pokemon in any way you like However, if you use the ability, your turn will immediately end. So in order to get a lot of value out of the Coridon, we are going to be running stuff like the Squawkabilly. We have Carmine in the deck. We have Research, Earth and Vessel, Ultra Ball, all these ways to discard Fight Energy so we can immediately power up our Tinglu so that we can get it charged up. There's also, of course, the item card, Gutsy Pickaxe, which does allow us to potentially attach an energy to one of our fighting Pokemon if, you know, we reveal a card and it happens to be a fight energy on the top of our deck, which is pretty nifty. But yeah, before we get the video show too, the sponsor Card Cavern TCG, of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon TCG Live pack outs, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern's code line for the cheapest stuff you're looking to get. Any set, like Twilight Masquerade, an older set, or some IRL TCG product and singles card cabin sales, all of that over there. If you get anything at Card Cabin, at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cabin. So big shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below and my second channel down below. I got extra content over on the second channel. I just did a video where I ranked the best Pokemon cards of all time ranked on how good they were for the game if you want to kind of get a bit of a history lesson check out the second channel down below yeah here is the tinglu frost last deck in today's video playing for tinglu just trying to maximize the ability to start with it we also do have the one Coridon, the one squawkabilly you could debate playing two Coridon or even two squawk we don't play a heavy ball in the deck due to space reasons i am playing a blood and nurse luna it is a good attacker um, especially against a matchup like Raging Bolt. It's a great way to finish your opponent off. The issue with Tinglu, like I said, is getting energy into play. And if your opponent is somehow able to deal with Tinglu over and over again, it is really important to have a decent late game attacker like that Ursa Luna. But I'm also playing the tool cards, the Bravery Charm, and the Hero's Cape to give us a ton of HP. Making Tinglu very difficult to KO alongside ability locking is a very deadly combo. Now, since Frostlass does damage our own Pokemon, it will damage our own Tinglu, it'll damage our Squawk, it'll damage the Coridon. I am playing a one Radiant Serena, which does allow us to heal our Pokemon off. So with the Frostlass in play, because most of the time you just need you just need one Frostlass. You don't need two, you don't need three. It's not like the other Frostlass decks we've played. You just need one in play. So in order to heal your Pokemon off, you do have the Radiant Serena, which can heal off your stuff to make it harder for your Pokemon to get KO'd. And uh, yeah, I got Temple Sinnoh, really good against Lugia or Mist Energy, which is another annoying card that could be a problem for us. Penny in the deck. Penny's really good. I kind of want to play two pennies, but Penny does allow us to pick something up. Like, we don't want Squawk and play, we can pick it up. Uh, we want to heal something, pick it up. You know, Penny's really, really good in here. And I got two TM Devo. Basically, our way to beat stuff like Charizard and Dragapult, which are slightly difficult matchups, we have the double Devo to make it a little bit easier to deal with something like Charizard. Like, if you're against Charizard, try not to go overkill with the KOs, and then they can't one-shot you or two-shot you as easily um well i guess they always two shot you but as long as they're two shot you it's not as bad right so don't go overkill in the chaos play smart um same thing with dragapult dragapult is not terrible you do thankfully have the serena uh, if you're playing against charizard dragapult things might get a little scary though um and raging bolt also isn't the best matchup on the planet but thing is fun to play when you're playing against a deck that relies on abilities um that you know you can shut off it is very satisfying let's go show off what tinglu frostlass can really do on tc live today all right, get into this game. Against Shempow, probably. Uh, we are going first, and our starts, it's fine enough, I guess. 
Hmm. I wish it was a little bit better, to be honest with you. Not really a fan of opening up with my Ursa Luna. But I guess it is what it is. We can grab Tinglu and Squawkabilly. Do I even bother with Squawk here? Debating whether it's necessary. Hmm. Well, I mean, I do want to get Snow Run down, especially before they get to Greninja. Ah, we'll go Squawk, I guess. Sure. It's fine. I also, yeah, it's fine. I want to I wanna draw cards, try to get set up a little bit here. I think it's fine to just go Squawk and Seize. See what we can get here. Come on, give me a Snow Runt and a Coridon. All right, we got both of them. Let's go. All right, let's check our Frost Last. They're in there. We just need the one Frost Last for the time being. We can use Halucha, too, and then we can get Coridon. We need to find Switch. We have Penny, though, so... Eh, I mean, the problem is, so I want to be able to go into Frost Last, but I guess we can land Scoop. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens next turn. So we can Penny the Ursaluna into the Coridon, or the Tinglu, and then we can start land scooping, or we can Iono and try to get Frost Last Energy, or Frost Last Switch. I think we... I don't know. We'll see. Ideally, we draw a Frost Last this turn, but you never know. Okay, they got Buddy Poff in here. Because they're going to put two Fridgies down, right? So I don't know. I wouldn't mind get another Tinglu in play either. But we have stuff like Devo. Like, this matchup is pretty good in all honesty. One of our best matchups. But we'll see what we can do. It really sucks we had to open Ursa Luna, though. <laughs> Starting Ursa Luna sucks. Um, definitely the worst starter that's not probably reading Serena. It's pretty bad, too. But Ursa Luna is definitely not what we want to be opening up with. So I, I might have to just do the Penny next turn. Yeah, we'll see. Probably have the Penny, though. I, if we draw Frost last... Or Halucha, we're chilling. But it's unlikely we have the penny. I do want to get another Tinglu established, too. That'd be nice. Yeah, wouldn't mind to have another Tinglu here. They grab Greninja and Earthen Vessel. Hmm. Greninja could be a problem, right? Because they can knock out my Frost Last, too. Like, there are things that can go wrong in this matchup. We did prize our other Frost Last, which is a bit of a bummer. I don't play Radiant Alakazam, either. So I can't set up damage as easily. They're playing Arc to backs in the deck. Interesting. So that means they probably still... Okay, that's actually... That actually is bad they're playing that. Because I do play double Devo. Part of my strategy against this deck could be to TM Devolution their stuff. To, like, cripple their board. That's not going to be as easy now. Because they play the uh, the, the Arc to backs. That actually kind of sucks. It's actually not good they're playing that. They got Heavy Ball. What else do they have in the prizes here that's hiding? I mean, yo, if you want to play that, be my guess. I doubt they're going to play that, obviously. Though, I wouldn't mind it. I would not mind the Ursuna going into the bench, because then I can get the... I don't the Penny. I can Iono. They have a lot of energy in their hand, especially because they're most likely going to Shivery Chill. Well, they might not Shivery Chill. I don't know. Maybe they don't want to give me the Shen Pao, because then I can get damage on it. We'll see. Actually, is an interesting dilemma for my opponent to be in. Curious. Pokestop? I'm tempted to roll that. Ooh, they got Prime Catcher and Retrieval. Okay. It's pretty good cards. Now I'm, like, really wanting to Iono my opponent because of what they're finding. Those are all pretty good cards to get. The Prime Catcher especially because I don't play Eerie. If I roll the Pokestop, we could use it to try to get a good card <clears throat> that can help us next turn. They're going to Iron Bundle. Wow. Thank you for the free promotion. Nope. Okay, they're going to Prime Catcher. But now, okay, now I'm glad they played their Prime Catcher, though. I'm kind of glad they just wasted that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, I really need to get Frost Last. Honestly, I mean, I don't want to lose my Ursaluna, though. I kind of need it. I honestly think we just have to play the Iono here and try to get Frost Last out so we can... I mean, if we hit the Frost Last switch, it'd be pretty sick. I don't know the odds of us hitting it. I'm going to Poke Stop. If I mill the Frost Last, so be it. Did not mill it. We did mill our other snow run. I didn't draw anything. All three of those cards were useful. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't play the Pokey Stop. Damn it. Pokey Stop giveth and taketh. Jeez, that's pretty bad. That is not good. Those are not cards I want to be discarding. Hopefully, we find Switch. I got Frost last, but unfortunately, I did not get Switch. That's fine. We'll just grab another Tinglu. And we'll just car ride onto it. Unfortunate. We can vacuum, actually. Get rid of the Pokestop. Probably want to do that first. We did Iono them, so hopefully they're slowed down a little bit. All right. 
Not a great turn overall. Would have been really good to get switched. I actually lost very relevant cards, so it's pretty bad. Those uh, discards were not very good. We'll see if my opponent's able to do anything. They did use their Prime Catcher, so the Tinglu should be safe. I don't think they can knock Tinglu out. The thing is that I'm worried about is they're going to go Radiant Greninja, right? They have Cypher Maniac. They have a five-card hand. We'll see if they can thin their hand down. I mean, they need rare candy. I mean, they do need a lot to kind of knock out my uh, Frostlass. If we can get, like, one turn out of Frostlass after this, I'd be happy. Because, yeah, they can Greninja my Frostlass. And that's it. That's all she wrote. I got no Frostlass left. I have to rely on Halucha. I don't want to lose my bear either because we can one-shot their Shimpa. It's actually not really a good card to lose in this matchup either, but... I guess slowing them down, honestly, maybe the ability lock will carry us. Maybe we don't really need the Ursaluna, but it's like kind of a bummer. We might be losing our Ursaluna. They can do 240 to me. They don't need to do the extra damage because usually Shempao needs 300 to kill Ursaluna, but they only need to do 240 because of Frost Loss. Oh, well, they had that. All right, here we go. Rare Candy backs. Can they knock me out? They should have enough to do it. All they need is like a Retrieval or something, and they can knock out my Frost Loss here with the Greninja. As long as our Tinglu is safe, I guess it's fine. Honestly, it isn't bad that we got another turn of building up our Tinglu. Because I'd probably need at least two. Because I we attack with this guy. He's probably still going to get knocked out. There's Retrieval. They do have the Grenin... Uh, actually, uh, they can Shivery Chill. I mean, if Frostlass dies, it sucks, obviously. But <laughs> whatever. I mean, can't really do much about it. It is what it is. Are they going for the... Or are they going to knock out my Active? They might go after my active here, in all honesty. To be fair, Ursaluna is a threat. It's something... I mean, you don't want to leave it alive, because they I, like it's actually pretty good. So maybe they're just going to kill the bear, which I'm fine with. Because then I get a... Then I can hit both of those Pokemon on the bench. I can Land Scoop and Frostlass their Fridgy backs, meaning that they have no abilities. And then at that point, I think I'm going to win. Oh, they could have Canceling Cologne in the deck. Some lists don't run Cologne anymore. I, I, we have to be mindful of Canceling Cologne. They could be playing one copy of Canceling Cologne. They can Canceling Cologne the um, King Lose ability. Okay, they're definitely knocking out my guy. All right, that's fine. I would prefer not to lose my Ursaluna, but it's all good. I guess the issue with them going Greninja and knock out my Frostlass is they only get one prize, and this gives me more time. This actually makes the most amount of sense, for, I guess. But now I can Iono to four. And we can hit him with the the Ting. And we also get some extra damage in play here thanks to Frostlass. Now, I think now we're just kind of in a pretty dominant position because now they can't do anything. Of course, it was one. Uh, there's a switch. Always the next card. All right, that's fine. Let's Iono. Because now we can hit the Frigibax with Land Scoop. And all their Pokemon have no abilities, which is, like, insane. So it's not great for my opponent. Hey, also, that was a good card. All right, let's put that there. Yeah, I'm just going to Land Scoop. I'm going to wait on benching Serena. It's not really a reason to put it down just yet. We just put 20 there. And, I mean, okay, now my opponent can't really do anything. They used up their Prime Catcher. The only thing they could have is a Canceling Cologne. But like I said, some Champellas don't run Canceling Cologne. Even if they do have a Cologne, we have a 260 HP Tinglu, and then we have another Tinglu waiting in the woodworks. We'll see if they got it like that. Like I said, most, most Champellas don't run Cologne anymore, but some do. If they need to find it, though, I mean, they should be able to. They have Irida. Like, it's pretty easy if they have an Irida, but we'll see. They're playing Retrieval. They could manually attach to Shampao, but by that point, it's probably a little too late for it to even matter. I think next turn, we'll Penny the Squawkabilly off the board, and then I can probably bench Radiant Serena and try to heal my stuff a little bit. So it's probably going to be a Serena angle next turn, I think. Let's see what they got. Before they play a one of Picnic Basket, bro, tech for the matchup, imagine. That'd be crazy. They can't do anything. They need a Canceling Cologne, or <clears throat> they gotta go Iron Bundle or something, but they can't Iron Bundle, because they discarded it already, so. What are they cooking? They're Poke Stopping. That could find Cologne if they play it. That is one way they can find that Canceling Cologne. Are they rolling the pokey stop? Let's see what they're cooking. Let's see. They could have Silene to get Prime Catcher, right? They could have that. But they have to find the thing without being able to draw cards. That's kind of the issue my opponent's facing right now. Okay, none of those were pokey stop. Or cologne, sorry, what am I saying? Pokey stop, cologne. 
Now, the issue is, if we knock out the Shen Pao, they will have an ability, but it doesn't matter, right? Killing Shen Pao doesn't really make a difference here, because they're not going to have an ability anyways. And I need to put pressure on them, because, yeah, they can eventually attack with the other one. So we may as well play around it. So let's Penny this. We can bench our Serena, and then we can start healing. I'm going to keep the bench spot open, just in case. Let's leave the bench spot open, and then we'll just knock him out land scoop. We'll put 20 on the other Shen Pao, so I can one-shot it eventually. All right. We'll see you. Six and three. What do we got? Carmine's good. That's a draw card. I don't know if I'm going to play the Carmine, though, right away, because I might need to wait. Because I might need the switch. I guess I can attach a Serena. I just want to be able to retreat my Pokemon, but I don't think they have... I mean, they could have a Silene play. I don't know. I'm just trying to, like, play around any outs they might have, but... They finally can use an ability. They can free up a bench space to get an ability, but I have two Tinglus in play, so they can't go they can't go Iron Bundle because then I'll just go into my other Tinglu, and then it doesn't make a difference. So the bundle is ineffective. They have to have a Camps and Clone, which they could be playing, right? So we'll see. There's the Super Rod. Let's see what they put back. They can't go Hands because Hands is weak to fighting, so that doesn't do anything. Yeah, they put Bundle back. But like I said, as long as I have two Tinglu in play, it doesn't really matter. Honestly, at that point, I should probably just put a second Tinglu in play. I should probably just go three Tinglus. Just in case they go, like, Bundle Cologne and then Bundle again at some point. So I should probably go probably get another Tinglu. But yeah, the Iron Bundle doesn't do anything. They do grab it, but like I said, it doesn't do anything. Because I'm just going to give you my other Tinglu anyways. That, uh, event, like, yeah, Bundle bundle doesn't work as long as I have two Tings in play. Which is pretty, pretty rad. Hmm. All right, what are they cooking? What are they cooking? Because, like, we just knock out the Shen Pao here, and then... I don't even know where I even want to put the 20. I don't even know. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, probably not. Pokestop. No Cologne. And in fact, they lose an Irida, which could have got them Cologne. Had they been playing it. Okay. What's their next plan going to be? Because if you play the bundle, I give you the I give you the Tinglu, and it doesn't really matter. I guess they can attack it, but like I'm knocking you out. It doesn't really matter if if that's the case. If they can Shivery Chill. I don't even know if they really have much energy. No, they do. They rotted some energy back. I forgot about that. But yeah, I'm going to KO them. It's not really going to make a difference. As long as they can't do their abilities, it doesn't matter. As long as they literally, like, their deck can't function without their abilities. Like, Tinglu completely locks their entire deck up. Yeah, it's going to swing for 120. They could do 130 with the Frost last damage, but we have the Radiant Serena, right? So, and I mean, by this point, like, this guy won't be dying anytime soon, so it's fine. They need another Shempo, but that's not even going to be enough. There's Halucha. I don't really think we need that. Let's just heal again. Kind of down just to hold the hand, to be honest with you. Just knock out the active and hold the hand. And we can put 20. They can't even do Iron Bundle now, actually, which is pretty funny. I just realized, yeah, they can't even bundle here. They can't even play Iron Bundle because of the Frostless. <laughs> so now that's not even an option for them. Yeah, I'll just hold the hand. I doubt they play Iono. Most of us don't play Iono anymore, so we can just hold the hand. and just There's no reason to get rid of it, I don't think. I'm not really looking for anything. So Maybe another Bravery Charm, but it's fine. All gravy, and they scoop it up, and there you go. Tinglu Frost last beating Shen Pao. Like I said, if we can kind of stabilize a little bit, the matchup's pretty good. All right, we hit a Raging Bolt. Unfortunately, this is our worst matchup. Um, That was a decent draw, actually. Do we have Squawk? Okay. Yeah, Raging Bolt is by far our worst matchup. I don't know if it's winnable, but we'll see. All right, Nest Ball. I mean, I guess I'll get Squawk, sure. We're losing a ton of draw, which is not great either, especially the Ionos, but oh my. Dude, you give me nothing but supporters, bro. What the hell? Okay, it's a bit better. Uh, I guess? It's actually annoying they opened Squawk. I guess it doesn't really matter, actually. We'll see how this goes. Do I bench this guy? I don't think it matters. Yeah, I don't think... We don't really get to use Frostlass in this match. Like, it's not very good. Um, ah, rip. No way to discard another energy. Damn, okay, well... Go ride on and pray. But yeah, this matchup isn't very good, right? Because my opponent one-shots me. Ability lock does basic, basically nothing. Because Ogre Pond has an ability 
that I can't stop. So this is like pretty much our worst matchup is Raging Bolt by far. Raging Bolt is like not a very good matchup for us. We'll see how it goes though. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, if they brick for a bit, that's fine. The best thing we can do is judge and pray next turn. That's about it. I already lost two Ionos, which is really, really bad. Like I'm like, I'm already at a big disadvantage due to how many cards I just lost early on. Or maybe we're not playing as Raging Bolt, but it probably is Raging Bolt. It could be Reggie Drago, which is a little bit more winnable, but it's Raging Bolt. If they see them grab a Fighting Energy. Yeah, this matchup's not good. We do have access to Ursaluna, which is the best thing we can do, but I don't know. We'll see. It's it's going to be an uphill battle. Um, I mean, we'll we'll try to see if we can take down this matchup, because like I said, this is not the matchup Tingly wants to play against. Ooh, they even have a Prime Catcher. It's annoying. That means they don't have anything going on. I mean, we want to capitalize on them potentially bricking. Oh, they can also attack with this guy, right? So weak to grass. Oh, that makes it even worse. Jeez. Two Sadas and a boss can discard is decent, though. Yeah, they can attack with Ogre Pond, too, which is terrible. And they drew the third Sada off the Squawk anyways. Of course they did. All right, that's annoying. Yep. And we're definitely farmed. Might honestly just Carmine instead of Judge. I don't know really bad because yeah they can they can even use ogre pond in this matchup to ko tinglu in one hit like if their main attack with raging bolt could do something but yeah this is this match is like we're chalked are they gonna Ooh, they're actually attacking me here they don't have a knockout I'm surprised they're doing this oh maybe they do no they have a knockout they have to get rid of all their energy though actually i'm fine with them killing me here i'm fine with them knocking me out actually hmm they need another energy to KO, so they can Teal Dance. We can go Judge Knockout. Yeah, I'm fine with this, actually. I don't know. Do we ever want to put Frostlass down? I don't... I'm trying to think if it matters. Probably not, right? I don't know if Frostlass makes much of a difference. Maybe we do want it. I don't know. I definitely want Ursaluna, though. That's for sure. I'm fine with them doing this, because they're already down the three Sada. This is fine, actually. The problem is I can't build up another Tinglu. I need to build up another Tinglu. Because, like, they just build up Myriad Leaf Shower and they just destroy me. That's another issue. So I'm definitely going to go for the Judge. Okay, maybe we'll just get Snow Run here and just judge him. Sure. Just try to slow him down as much as we can. I don't think it matters too much, but we'll try to make it matter. Didn't get much off that. All right, well. Hit him for 150 and then uh, 20 on the Greninja so they can't conceal cards. That's about all I can do. I need to buy some time here. I kind of figured the judge would give me a bad hand. That's kind of why I was like, do I want to do it? But I definitely wanted to just if buy some time as much as we can. But yeah, they drew a retrieval off the judge. We're cooked. There's no grass in discard, though. Or there was. Wait, what? Oh, they, they play the retrieval. Okay, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, they can just build up these guys on the bench, which is bad. You can see why this matchup is not very good. Yeah, they just, three energy immediately found. Like, what do you want me to do? Can they find their last Sada, though, is the question. Can they find that final Sada they have in their deck? Let's see. No shot, right? That's pretty good. Okay. Jeez. Judge sucks. This card's terrible. Do they have Poke Gear? No. Vessel. Okay, they still can't do Greninja. They have Iono. Interesting. Did they draw? Oh, my God. Did they really get another Sada? They had one in the deck. Don't tell me they really found it, bro. All right, they might be burst roaring. I think they're going burst roar, but we're not gonna the active. But it, it doesn't matter when they just kill me in return with the ogre pond. No, they drew boss too. Of course, I can't even take a knockout here. What? They of course had to get that. No shot. Oh, and they're not burst roaring. <laughs> That's so bad though that they drew that. Jeez, it doesn't even matter because like. Double boss, really? <sighs> this is annoying. It's definitely pretty grief. Do I just attack? I mean, they... Hold on. What energy do they have in their hand? Can you see this? No, they do have another... They have the attack, so... I guess we're going to cry down to the cry down. I need Ursaluna. I don't know. I, this this matchup seems like the game's just over. Not attacking there is really bad. If we were able to attack them there, it would have been a lot better. Not being able to attack them there is terrible for us. If had we attacked, we would have been in a better spot. Because we could have taken out this thing and then we could have went Ursaluna or something. But now it's not looking good. 
because they, of course, had two boss in their deck, and they happened to find it. Double boss, Raging Bolt. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. I need to draw something here, because I need to at least get the uh, Ursa Luna. We'll see what they discard. I mean, they could whiff the, the Ogre Pond attack next turn, which is the plan. If they can whiff the Ogre Pond attack, maybe we can cook something up. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, all the grass get discarded. Nice. That's what I was hoping they were going to do. Okay. Somehow, like, we still could maybe win this. Barely, though, but we'll see. What's our top deck? We needed, like, a supporter. Hmm. That doesn't really do anything. That's better, actually, to put on the Ursa Luna, right? Putting this on the active does nothing. We just think just absolutely just destroys me. The Hero's Cape doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, I don't think we need the Hero's Cape. Those land scoop. Man, maybe I should put energy on the active, just in case. Um, We actually, theoretically, should put 20 on Greninja. So if they were to switch card it, they can't get concealed cards back. So I think it's better to put 20 on the Greninja. Okay. Let's see if our prizes are any help. We don't have a lot of supporters, but okay, we did get Ursa Luna. I should have attached the active, actually, because, like, I can retreat into Ursa Luna next turn. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter because they're going to give me the Greninja anyways. I mean, they could just sit here and just load up Ogre Pond, and I'm just kind of cooked. Yeah, I might have just gotten Uber Punch not attaching the active. We'll see if they're able to... Because they're just going to kill me next turn. Yeah, I should have attached the active. It was a misplay. They just apparently have all the energy in their hand anyways. What? Where are they getting this energy from? Not like this. Hmm. They can find that last retrieval. That's annoying. Hmm. We'll see what we can do. We got stuff for next turn, which is good. But will it be enough? Yeah. Oh, look at that. I called it. Insane. In I now I'm Uber Punch on attaching the active. Another oh, double switch card. Okay, that's fine. Okay, putting damage on this was correct. So there's an energy in their hand. That's a sneaky, sneaky prevention. Okay, they just pass. Do I even bother killing them? Because like honestly, I might. Okay, well, give me at least a supporter. Okay, I mean that is their Saluna. Do I really want to KO those? The question. Could go on a Karidon. Yo, is Hero Escape Karida on the play, actually? It might be. Hmm. Yo, yeah, Hero Escape Karida actually might be the better play. Because there's no point of attacking. They just knock me out. Okay. I'm down, bro. Then they can't. Because they can easily knock me out next turn. And we're KOing this thing anyways. Who cares? I'm trying to think. Do I want to save the energy? Do I want to get Ursula now? Yeah, sure. I need a thin. Okay, I'm cool with this. Yeah, Ursula Hero Escape seems pretty good. Because then they can't knock it out with uh, the Ogre Pawn, most likely. Three energy. You know, it's possible. You never know. Okay, what's our prize? Nothing great. Okay. We still have our Switch cards, which are good. So, this is still maybe winnable, surprisingly enough. They should hopefully be out of Gust, too. They're down two boss and a Prime Catcher and a Palpat. So we'll see. Yeah, see, they had another grass. They're finding all their grass energy so easily. This is ridiculous. Oh, good thing I retreated. Oh, my God. Actually saved by the bell. Let's go. That's crazy. They're finding their grass energy is way more easier than they should be. So good thing I uh, switched there. 100%. I mean, yeah, that was insane big brain play. Confirmed. Okay. This is good. Because we can just go into Ursaluna next turn and knock them out. The problem is we don't have a switch. We can't move it, but we'll see. They're spreading the energy out. Interesting. They have another Super Rod. They're playing two Super Rods in their deck, apparently. Okay. Sure. Do they have anything else? It's good. Okay, nice. Just a pass. All right. Thank heavens. So we can KO them with Ursa Luna here. But I need a switch, though, to win the following turn. Iono. Hmm. This is interesting. Do I want to play the Iono? How much health does it have? 150. Do I want to play the Iono here? I think it's okay to Iono my opponent. No, they could win with Raging Bolt. I don't think we Iono. I need the switch, though. But we, don't, we might be in a good enough spot where we can afford to just pass in the active spot. So maybe it's okay. Frost has saving us here because otherwise I think Bravery Charm would not have, not have had it. All right, switch card. Yo, we got it. Okay. 
Hopefully they don't play two Iono, two boss. If they're not playing a second Iono and they don't win this turn, we have game with switch card. Okay, most likely. Unless they put a one prizer in the active. No, even then. Okay, I think I have game. They need to not win this turn or hand to me and I have game. Yo, we might have clutched it up. Let's go. That switch card, the prizes is nuts. They're playing three boss. So how are they going to win with bossing three times in a game? All right, thank heavens. They didn't have the grass energy for game on Ting Lu. All right, I'm saying that matchup is bad and we won it anyways because... King Lu, while it's good, doesn't do anything in this matchup. Turns out Karaidon and Ursuluna are better attackers. That's a crazy match. Holy smokes. All right, we hit another Shem Pao. Apparently, that's all we're seeing on the ladder right now. I mean, I mean, it's a good matchup, but hopefully we get a bit more variety in this video. Our turn one's kind of mediocre. Um, Squawkabilly's prize. This game's just immediately probably over, to be honest. It's not looking good. I need my Billy to not be prized. They have no idea what I'm playing, which kind of gives me an advantage. They don't know that I'm playing a uh, King Lu deck. Hopefully they know. I'd lose a Devo, which kind of sucks. Kind of want to keep that. All right, let's see what our top deck is. Snorunt. Okay, uh, we do need to bench that. We do need it. All right, we don't want to prize Squawk here. Okay, good. If Squawk was prized, that would not have been good. Okay. Here we go, Squawk and Seas. See what we got. I mean, yeah, it's okay. We get... Yeah, it's, okay, I kind of need Gutsy Pickaxe to, like, bail me out. Getting Halucha would be really good here, too. Nope. Nope, damn it. Nothing... F no supporter. Where me draw supporters at, bro? It's unfortunate. Um, Dino Cry to the active and pray, I guess. It's not fantastic, but hopefully we can draw something next turn to keep us in the game. Um, at least we have Switch. We can move Karaidon next turn into Tinglu. So, if I had Halucha, this hand would have been really good. I could just Halucha these two immediately, and then they can't do the uh, Bax Calibur. So, that kind of sucks. Yeah, not great. Just didn't really get a good hand off that. Which kind of kind of bums me out. But, we'll see. Uh, maybe I should have switched into, like, Squawkabilly, in all honesty. I kind of don't want to lose my Karaidon. It's kind of an important card in this deck. Oh, but they don't even have an attack. Oh, wait a minute. The plot thickens. We got Frostlass. I actually... Do I even play it? Yeah, I guess. I mean, there's no reason not to. I guess we play it. Yeah, because we're going to land scoop. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to attach energy. I, eh, maybe. No, nah, we should put energy on the Karaidon. If they Prime Catcher, though, whatever. Yeah, because we can get damage on the uh, Bidoofs here, which is pretty good. So, yeah, I think it's correct to do the uh, Frost Last. Because, yeah, I want to get damage on the Bidoofs. Because now they can't do Bibberl or Max Calibur. They cannot KO my Tinglu this turn, which is big. So that's good. They can get another Friggy, but then I just keep doing Land Scoop. So, I, okay, I maybe should have attached the Karaidon. No, they grab Raiding Greninja, though. Okay. They can still, like, Shivery Chill and stuff. And they do get one turn of Raiding Greninja. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. They could... Okay, they could have Cancel and Clone. We definitely need to get a Supporter. Because, theoretically, they could have Hurricane Baxcalibur Cologne. Which is kind of spooky. We definitely need another Tinglu here. Or a Draw Supporter to keep us in the game. Because if they do that, we could be cooked... Pokestop? Okay, I might have to play that next turn, to be honest. Nice. Discard the top three cards of your deck. I like to see it. Actually, all three of those were very important cards. The Silene, especially. Especially if they do play the clone. Oh, my God. They actually had the prime. I should have attached to the Tinglu. Or the Coridon. I didn't expect them to actually have it. Though, honestly, it's not that bad if they're wasting the prime catcher. In all honesty, it's not that bad. But that sucks they had that rip. Unfortunate. <sighs> they... Can't do it twice now, though, thankfully, so that's good. I might have to play the stop. I really need to get a, another Tinglu down, or at least something. Nope, that's not it. Do I really go stop, though? That feels bad. I think I'm going to play it, YOLO. I need a ball card. Nope, then I'm okay. To be fair, I didn't want any of those other than the Tinglu. I guess it's not the end of the world. It could have been worse discards. No, I guess I'm going to Dino Cry. I was punished for not attaching to the Tinglu, but whatever, it's fine. Set more damage up here on the board, which is good. I mean, that Shampao's looking pretty juicy. It's going to get knocked out soon. It's pretty good. They can Super Cold. This is the issue. They do get access to Super Cold here for one turn. Unless they whiff. They're definitely not whiffing, though. Pokestop. Another Irida. Okay. We're seeing some good cards get discarded. They have an Ultra Ball. That's going to get back Caliber, obviously. Yep. This isn't the same person I played against earlier, right? I'm just, like, now realizing. Was it the same person? 
No, okay. Okay. Because they had the same sleeves and like similar artworks of all their cards, but thankfully it's not the same person because that would have been kind of scuffed. It would have been the rematch of all rematches. All right. So this is where things get annoying. They can... But wait. They they evolved the other... back. I guess it doesn't matter, but they evolved the Baxcalibur with no dam with damage already on it, which is, I guess, fine, actually. Yeah, it's okay. I don't mind that. It's one Tinglu versus the world. Will it be enough? I think it's fine, because we get to attack this guy next turn. and Yeah, now both Baxcalibers are going to have damage on them. They need to set up a ton of energy and play to really put a dent in me. Can they do it? They can't do much else, hopefully. There's no Bibril in play. All right. Thankfully, they don't have anything else. Okay, good. Because if they somehow get, like, five energy in play or, like, seven energy or whatever, like, we get cooked. But now they can't attack this Tinglu. This one Tinglu has to carry us. Um, they put... No, the Iron Bundle's still in the discard, which is good. So they can bundle me next turn and get their ability back. I need another Tinglu. Okay, Tinglu. Yo, let's go. The boy himself. Let's go. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm not going to bother doing anything else with this attack. Put 20 there. We could have maybe played the Halucha, but I don't want them to have access to Raiding Greninja. So I don't want them to be able to Greninja for like two knockouts. Finally, those are really good prizes. Those are really good cards. Serena's really good. Carmine's fantastic. I will happily take those. All right, let's go. Let's go, baby. See if they have anything. Again, they could be playing Cancel and Clone. If, if they do Clone knock me out, this is really bad, but we'll see if they can pull that off. They can't draw any cards with Vibral. They have to have the clone in their hand. Except for Maniac. That's fine. They can't... Oh, they can Pokestop. I mean, if we do get KO'd here, it is pretty bad. We'll see. They need five energy to knock me out. We'll see how it goes. Like, if they do KO me, we could... Well, then I could just smoke the other Tingle. It's probably not that bad if they knock me out. It's going to be a close one. This is a lot closer. Just because we kind of had that brick in the middle there, we weren't able to kind of build up multiple Tinglus. So we'll see how this goes. Because they can Poke stop. We'll see if they play Cologne. Some Shampoilers literally do not play Canceling Cologne, but some do. I, you never know. It's honestly kind of a wild card whether or not it's in the deck or not. Ooh, they pass. So that means they didn't. Okay, that's really good. Okay, now we're like in cruise control. Vacuum is pretty solid. I don't really need to play the Halucha, right? Eh, I could knock out their B But like I said, I don't want to put Pokemon in play that Greninja can knock out for two prizes. So, yeah, they just concede. Yeah, we had, we were chilling. We had Serena to heal, vacuum away the Pokestop, Carmine attached to Tinglu. It was looking pretty jober for them. And there you have it, folks. That is the Tinglu deck in action with Frostlass. Frostlass definitely really is strong with Tinglu. It's so nice to be able to spread damage across the board. And you saw it actually came up really clutch in that Raging Bull matchup, which, like I said, is arguably our worst matchup. But thanks to Frostlass, it actually ended up making a big difference because it was it, we were able to use Ursaluna effectively in that match. I don't know what I really changed about this Tinglu list, to be honest with you. I think it's pretty solid with what we're trying to work with. Um, like, yeah, I don't know what else to change about it. Maybe you could play, like, another stadium. Another energy could be good. I'm not even sure if you need that, though. Um, but yeah, overall, Ting Lu, it definitely feels like a pretty fun card to play. We had some interesting matches in today's video, and just showing off the ability to combine Ting Lu with Frostas to prevent every Pokemon from having ability is really good. As you saw, it was really clutch there against that Shempow matchup that we had both times in a row. We played against two different Shempow decks, but yeah. Hope you all enjoyed the video on Tinglu Frost last. I've got a few requests to try this deck out, so I'm glad I was able to give it a try. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Hell, and beyond the road to reaching 62,000 subs. Thank you all once again for all the support on the channel. Make sure to check out my second channel down below, too, for some extra content. We're on the road to 15K subs there, and I just uploaded a video where I ranked the best cards of all time on how good they were for the game. You definitely want to check out that second channel video down below if you haven't already. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye-bye.